Thanks, John. Now, for nine months, Stuart Hazel insisted Tia Sharp died after falling downstairs. Today, he finally pleaded guilty to murdering her. But the dramatic turnaround came simply too late to prevent Tia's family enduring four days of harrowing evidence. The South London schoolgirl's body was found hidden in the house of her grandmother, Hazel's former partner, last summer. And just to warn you, some of you may find the detail in Jane Deeth's report upsetting. So what can you tell me about the murder of Tia Sharp, Stuart? He told them nothing. Well, a couple of minutes, you must listen, please. But today, Stuart Hazel finally admitted a sexual and sadistic murder of a 12-year-old girl who trusted and idolised him. Tia Sharp's family thought Hazel loved her like a granddaughter. But one night in the summer holidays, when he was looking after Tia, he assaulted her and then, it's believed, smothered her. On trial, he claimed she died after falling down the stairs, until today, when his legal team asked for the charge of murder to be put to him again. He paused and then said guilty. It was the one true word he's spoken since he murdered Tia Sharp. Apparently, he felt her family had suffered enough. Or did he just realise the evidence against him was too strong? Tia Sharp's family, her mother Natalie and grandmother Christine Bicknell, Hazel's former partner, had to endure that appalling evidence. Videos Hazel had taken of Tia Sharp when she was sleeping, the sex toy with her blood on it, the indecent photograph he took of her after he'd killed her, the searches for child pornography and incest on his mobile phone. Tia Sharp's father said hearing what Hazel did to his daughter shattered his heart. Hazel will be sentenced tomorrow. In my opinion, it will not be enough. He should serve his time, then be hung. The police say Stuart Hazel must be removed from society. Hazel is a violent and dangerous man who poses a significant risk to young girls. Yeah. It's only proper he will receive a long prison sentence. Hazel hid Tia Sharp's body in the loft, tightly bound in a bedsheet and bin bags. He was calculating, organised. He also put a bag up there containing some of Tia's clothes, which he would tell everyone she was wearing when he last saw her. He lied to his partner, Christine Bicknell, telling her her granddaughter had gone shopping for sandals and not come home. He lied to the police, playing the grieving granddad, desperate to find Tia. He sat on the sofa while Tia's body was in the loft and lied. I know deep down in my heart that Tia walked out of my house. She walked out of there and I know damn well because she was seen walking down the pathway. I know she made that track down to that way. What happened after that is I don't know. For eight days he had everyone believing Tia Sharp was missing. The police searched the loft twice but failed to find her. The media outside Stuart Hazel's front door meant he couldn't move the body. After a week, the smell led to Tia's discovery and Hazel was arrested. People on the estate knew him as a nasty, violent man. He'd been to prison for dealing cocaine and possessing a blade. In fact, it was a machete. He picked on two lads at the bar there. There was an old boy sitting over there. He knocked his drink over, so I asked him to leave the premises which we had to do forcefully. With that, he went home and he came back up the road with a machete in his hand. Neighbours are relieved Hazel's finally admitted what he did to Tia Sharp. Glad, and I'm glad he finally pleaded guilty. And I hope they put him away for life at least. Put him away for life and he should never be released. In a court statement, Tia's mother, Natalie Sharp, described wanting to hurt Stuart Hazel. Except, she said, I could never manage to hurt him like he's hurt me.